Four years ago, these homes believed to be slave cabins were condemned, set to be demolished. As you can see, they're still boarded up, but a family is hoping to change that and turn them into apartment homes. They one here, one there, one right behind, right through there. Since he moved here in 1962, Bobby Baxter's watched these one-room buildings just feet from his house off Morris Street continuously go downhill. I think the most important thing is keeping the, the uh, squatters out of here. An organization called the Palmetto Trust for Historic Preservation bought the homes in 2009, saving them from demolition. Its executive director tells News 4 the homes were built in the 1850s, and he believes they are the last known slave cabins in the upstate. And now a family out of Columbia is hoping to breathe new life into them. And that's such a part of our American history that, you know, you can't. You have to recognize that. Chuck Corley is under contract to buy the buildings. He's already renovated other historic sites in the state at Lemons Hill Plantation and Corley Hall and is hoping to turn these into apartments, spending between fifty and dollars and $100,000 to renovate them. We're not going to change the footprint or anything like that because we can't do that on the outside. Um, we want to save, you know, in as, in as pure a form as we can save, um, you know, for subsequent generations, generations to see what well-built cabins these were. Cleaning this area up is something Baxter has waited more than 50 years to see. Those houses were always there, and, and, you know, I just learned to live with it. It looks like he won't have to wait much longer. In order to renovate these buildings into apartment homes, the city's planning commission will have to approve a rezoning request. There's a meeting set October 1st to talk about it at Anderson City Hall. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 in Anderson.